Hi, today's video is going to be about uh, population genetics, about how to find allele frequency, and here is a problem. In humans, Rh positive individuals have the Rh antigen on their red blood cells, while Rh negative individuals do not. If the Rh positive uh, phenotype is produced by dominant gene A, and the Rh negative phenotype is due to recessive allele small a, what is the frequency of the Rh positive allele if 84% of population is Rh positive? And if you know uh, Hardy-Weinberg formula, and if you know how to apply it, you may try to solve this problem, and you may choose a correct answer. Uh, among these five answers. So you may stop video here and then run it again and compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So as I said we are going to solve this problem using Hardy-Weinberg formula. So let me write it down. Uh, so uh, this formula is P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared equal to 1. And for the P squared we have capital A, capital A. So this is homozygous dominant condition. Here we have heterozygous condition, capital A small a. And here we have homozygous recessive condition. So, as long as we know that 84% uh, of the population uh, have dominant allele, so is Rh positive, some of you may jump to the wrong conclusion that the answer of uh, 84%, but that is not so, because as you see here, 84% uh, would be represented by uh, these two uh, genotypes. So this is going to be 84%. But as you see here, uh, this allele is not uh, dominant, it is recessive. So it's just uh, hidden uh, by capital A. So it's uh, capital A dominant over the small a and uh, we have to assume that this small a in this uh, recessive form uh, also have its own input so uh, we cannot say that uh, uh, dominant allele present in 84 percent we can only say that uh, dominant phenotype is present in uh, 48 percent so how we are going to solve this problem? Uh, first of all, uh, uh, if we have 84% for the dominant phenotype, that also means that we have 16% uh, for the recessive phenotype. And we know that recessive phenotype would be um, uh, small a, small a. So this is uh, Rh negative and this is going to be Rh positive and according to the formula here we have 100% if we add 84% with 16% uh, and here we have 1 so uh, in this formula 100% uh, uh, equals to 1 and that means that uh, Q squared equals to 0 0.16. Not to 16, but to 0 0.16. Because when we add all the numbers, we should get 1. So 16% uh, uh, and number 1 is 100 times less than 100. So we have to reduce this number by 100. So what we are going to get is 0 
and um, we need to find uh, q and we given q squared so we have to take a square root from both sides and now we have q equal to 0 0.4 we also know that uh, all the alleles that is represented uh, dominant alleles uh, represented by p if we add with all the alleles that represented by q in the population they would equal to 1 so uh, that also means that 1 minus q equals to p so we already know what is a q so this is uh, number stands for q and uh, frequency of the q allele so in order to find the frequency of the p allele that stands for the uh, dominant allele we just have to deduct 1 minus q or 1 minus 0 0.4 that equals to 0 0.6 and this is uh, p so this is uh, dominant and this is uh, q stands for the uh, recessive allele so we can say recessive allele here so this is the answer 0 0.6 and we have uh, answer d here and this is the frequency of the dominant allele and the frequency of the recessive allele is 0 0.4 or we also can say that this is uh, 40% and uh, 0 0.6 equals to 60% and as you see this is uh, very different from the probably first assumption that you probably have uh, 84% uh, so actually this is 60% for the uh, dominant allele present in population so hopefully now you would be able uh, to use uh, Hardy-Weinberg formula in order to solve analogous problem Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day. Goodbye.